this virus is very much on the rise. It's not something that you can't say that it can't happen to you because I did, you know, and uh, I'm living proof that it can happen to you and it can happen to anyone. Approximately every uh, eight seconds, a new person becomes infected uh, with the virus somewhere around the world. It may not be so apparent locally, but, but even locally in, in certain uh, pockets or certain uh, communities, uh, there is still a high rate of spread of HIV. I had a first cousin pass from, from the virus, you know, and it affects everybody. It affects everybody in your family. What else do I know about AIDS? Uh, that it's killing a lot of people. Younger people today may view HIV and AIDS as a treatable illness, but 95% of the people in the world living with HIV don't even have access to the medications that we do in the United States. We need a vaccine for the world. We need it here in the United States, but we really need it in the world. University of Rochester HIV vaccine studies are the first steps of coming to a vaccine and possibly a cure for HIV. We're part of a global network. There are sites like us all around the world. Here in Rochester, we tend to do the smaller studies where we're looking for healthy people at no risk or at low risk for HIV infection. We need as many volunteers as we can get to test vaccines that we're trying to construct and make sure that they're efficient because there's a long way still for us to define which ones are going to be the right ones. So are there any requirements, like any like health requirements that you have to meet? to be in this trial? You have to be 18 to 50 years old, and in, I guess the weight requirement's over 110 pounds. And for women, if they want you to use birth control and things like that while you're in the study. The biggest requirement is showing up for your appointment. Yeah. Mel? Yeah. For our volunteers, we really are looking for people that are between the ages of 18 and 50, healthy and HIV negative. A potential volunteer will probably call us first and we'll give them information and then we schedule an appointment and at that time we review the consent with them. So they learn a lot about the overall studies and if it's something they want to continue with then they'll sign the consent and then we'll ask them detailed questions about their medical history. For their own safety you're not allowed to be in the study if you have certain illnesses. Then we will draw blood and do an HIV test and usually a hepatitis screening. When those test results come back, we schedule another appointment with them. And at that time, they would enroll in the study. How long is each one's, everyone's trial? I know for mine, it's 12 to 18 months. But of course, they compensate you for your time. Once I got involved and I saw how friendly everybody was in the vaccine trials, I was telling everybody I could <laughs> about it, and a lot of my friends have ended up joining the trial and, and some haven't because they have their concerns and mostly because when they tell their family or friends that I'm going to do an HIV vaccine trial, they're like, whoa, you know, wait a minute, because they don't understand. A friend of mine thought I was crazy when I, when I told him, he's like, what? No, you're not going to do that. I said, well, I started and he was like, you must be crazy. What if you get infected? And I'm like, you don't understand how, you know, the, the, how it works. Like, there's no way I'm going to get infected. And that's the biggest and that's the big, that I think that's the biggest misconception about it, yeah. The first thing you should know is that you're not going to be injected with the HIV virus. Getting an HIV virus through the vaccine is impossible because the vaccines do not contain HIV virus. All the vaccines that we've tested over the many years we've been doing this have been uh, made in the laboratory. They're not the, the real virus. 
The vaccines that are created in the lab are created to look as much as possible like the virus, only the critical things that make it go, that make it live and infect cells, are missing or changed, are non-functional. The immune system thinks it's seeing the real thing and it creates an immune response, but you're not going to contract HIV from receiving the vaccine itself. That's one thing we can guarantee. There's no way you can contract HIV from the vaccine, only from behavior. But to ask somebody to inject something to their body that, you know, that you really like, it's like an experiment, you know. So I guess maybe if you could convince people it's not risky or something, I don't know. That's, that's, that's asking a lot, I think. If I can produce something here in the lab, what good would it be if nobody would want to test it? I know that the type of safety that goes into making all these vaccines, and so both as a researcher and a volunteer, if I didn't think these vaccines were safe, I definitely wouldn't be participating in such a study. So are there any side effects from getting these vaccines? I myself have never had any. I, I have a friend, another friend who's in the trial too, and one night she did have a fever, but it was gone within like six hours. I get a fever, you get chills, but you know, a day and a half later, I'm back to full strength again. So uh, definitely had a reaction, but definitely would do it again. You may not have any symptoms, um, but if you do, they're usually mild and they resolve within 24 to 48 hours. At any one time, we may have about five or six studies we're recruiting for. So we have a pretty continuous need uh, for volunteers, and, and we, we plan to for the next decade. We need people from the groups that are being overwhelmed by the disease or, or by the virus to become part of the vaccine trial. It's got to be something done because it's happening to, to, to black people in mass. Uh, you know, we're the people who are uh, getting sick and at an alarming rate, and I had to start somewhere. Having minorities participate in studies has been quite challenging because of research that has taken place in the past that um, Tuskegee is, for one, that sticks with minorities wherever I go in the community, although that was in the 1930s, you will still hear that. And one thing I, I tell them is that Bad research took place, but as a result of that, many good things came out of that. Um, the Institutional Review Board, the IRB, we have data safety and monitoring teams that come into our unit and they look at the work that we do on an ongoing basis. We have the FDA. All these mechanisms have been put in place now to make sure that good research is now being done. Siendo una mujer con descendencia hispana y sabiendo que la comunidad hispana es una que está en el más alto riesgo de contraer la enfermedad de VIH. Siempre entendí que era muy significativo para mí ser parte de la comunidad científica que puede ayudar en estos adelantos para comenzar y tener una vacuna eficaz contra el virus de HIV. Our age group, you know, is one of the um, age groups that's most affected. My family has been touched by HIV. We've lost a family member to AIDS. And so that's why I felt like it was really important to get involved. It's a world issue that, you know, not just in, in, in Africa per se or in the other yeah. countries, it's yeah. here. I know it's, it's, it's in the Caribbean and, and many other places. It's, it's a very serious health issue that we need to address. My dad's half-brother was infected with HIV virus and actually passed away from AIDS. So it, it, was, it, meant, it means a lot to me to try to do something to help the epidemic because it's such a a worldwide concern. No matter what reason you join, I think everybody after a while is kind of doing it for the same reason as we all are, because we believe in it. We believe in finding an HIV vaccine. The ultimate vaccine may still be far off, but a day is coming in the future when there will be a world without AIDS. We need so many volunteers. It's been going on for 10 years or more, you know. And Rochester is one of the few places that actually have a HIV vaccine trials. You know, I think there's only a few across the nation. And so getting volunteers into this and just educating people about it is like really important. <laughs>